Erga. Today we're going to work on the body sway, meaning that you learn to move from the body instead of trying to push the body from place to place. Instead of trying to move the arm to the side, or just relax to the side. Now I'll show you a very, very simple way to learn how to do that. We're going to start by simply relaxing on a wall, like so. From here, I'm going to start uh, paying attention to one of my four current points here, hips and shoulders. And from here, I'm just relaxing one shoulder. So I turn and back. Then I move from the opposite shoulder. From here, I relax it. Back. And I start with one hip. Other hip. And back. This is a very simple drill and it's very applicable to almost every movement that you will do. If something comes to here, if you're trying to block something out of fear, out of surprise, if you lift and freeze, you're going to, well, at least get the contact inside you. If from here you're still moving from the body, you'll be able to move in a much more fluid manner without excess tension going into it. Once you've done this on the wall, here and there, back and forth, you go to the ground. From here, you just relax and you keep your limbs in the air. Why? The reason for this is very simple. We are used to walking with our legs instead of walking from our body. The same goes to here. I'm learning to move the obstacles in my body out of the way. So from here again. Breathing and relaxing the shoulder, relaxing the back, moving the opposite shoulder, not the arm, it's not extending of the arm, it's a, with the shoulder changing shape, and shift back, now starting at the hip, from here, relaxing you see, just relaxing, it's a controlled movement. And back, like so. Again, this is a very, very simple movement, but you cannot neglect it because it's mostly a very base thing that happens all the time. If you do a simple thing well, you'll do a much more elaborate thing, much better, much smoother. Not because you're working on it 10,000 times, but because it comes to you. you know, it's just natural. So from here, another way to do this is to move two points at the same time. I will show this on the ground and I'll show you how this uh, becomes into a slightly more elaborate movement. So from here, I'm choosing an X pattern of one hip opposite shoulder, moving one and then the other, or together, and you can see there's a turn there. I do the opposite and then back. Now I'll do the opposite from here to here and back like so. So you can learn to channel or to just allow things to move through you without uh, twisting and turning you, just moving as a whole, as one unit. And that is also done instead of the X pattern, also the H pattern, straight. So. If I'm in this position, I'm moving one hip, same side shoulder. Like so, yeah. It creates slightly different movement pattern. This also, on a side note, sort of uh, irons out all the, all the kinks in the body, so you're able to move with less tension and less uh, pressure or emotion held in the body tissue. Do this and have fun. Thank you for System Israel.